Welcome to Basic Project and Modding. In this episode, we are going to go over something that is not well known, changing the textures of the Project M launcher. Please watch the entire guide before you decide to follow it. Before we get into the guide, there are a couple things we will need. A copy of the Project M launcher, Brawl Crate, a photo editor, Dolphin Emulator, and a hex editor. We will be using HXD in this guide, but any hex editor will do. Links to all these tools will be down in the description. To get started, open Dolphin Emulator. Go to Graphic Settings, Advanced tab, and Enable Dump Textures. Open up the PM Launcher. This will dump textures that are currently being displayed. You can find them in your Dolphin Emulator folder in Documents, Dolphin Emulator, Dump, Textures, and Game ID. In this case, they are in the folder with a bunch of zeros. As you can see, here are all the textures of the PM Launcher. Now we are going to get these three textures into a tech zero format. This is so that the textures can be viewed in hex. Open Brawl Crate, select, file, new, archives, BRRES resource pack. Now we import the PM Launcher's textures that we are going to be changing. Right click new tree, go down to import texture. Now we navigate to where the dump textures are saved. Click on one of the textures we are going to replace. Now we are in the advanced texture converter window. Don't click OK quite yet. We need to make sure that we are importing them in the correct format. In order to check what format we need to import the textures as, open the PM launcher in Dolphin Emulator, go to graphic settings, advanced tab, and enable texture format overlay. This will show us what the textures are formatted as. Most of the textures in this case are formatted as RGB5A3. So this is the format we are going to use. If the format is not RGB5A3, make sure to use the matching format of the texture. We are good to press OK. Now we are going to import the rest of the textures we are going to change using the same process. Once we got all the textures imported, we are going to export them as a text zero. Right click the texture and select export. Now we name it to something more simple and save it in a place where it's easily accessible. Repeat until you have exported all the textures as a text zero. Get your edited textures that you're going to be using. Open the dump textures in a photo editor of your choice so you can make your beautiful edits to them. We already prepared some textures for this guide. When editing the textures in the photo editing software, make sure you don't change the size of the texture or it will not work. Next, we are going to get the edited textures into a text zero format, just as we did with the default PM launcher textures. Import your edited textures into Brawl Crate using the same format we used to import the PM Launcher textures, so format RGB5A3. Now we export all the textures as a text zero, naming them to something you can keep track of. Before we make any edits to the PM launcher in a hex editor, make a backup, you may need it. Open the boot.elf in the hex editing program. We are going to open the text zero files in the hex editor. Open the first texture we are going to change, the default PM logo texture and the corresponding changed logo texture. Now we are going to select a block of hex in both PM logo text zero files. This block of hex is the texture in a hex format. Go to edit, select block. This may be in a different location if you're using a different hex editor. Type 40 in start offset and 549F in end offset. Repeat for the other text zero. 
Text zero hex links will be down in the description for your convenience. Now that you have the hex selected in both text zero files, we are going to replace the hex in the launcher boot.elf. Copy the hex from the unedited PM logo text zero. Go over to the PM launcher boot.elf and select search, find. Set the data type to hex values and search direction to all. Paste copied hex in search, click OK. All the hex should now be highlighted. It may take a while to find the hex based on your computer's processing power. Go over to your edited PM logo text zero and copy selected hex. Go back over to the PM launcher, right click and paste right. You have just changed the texture in the PM launcher. Now we follow the same process with the other textures. Open the default background texture and the corresponding edited background texture. Select block, type 40 in start offset and offset 1089F. Repeat for the other text zero. Copy the hex from the unedited background text zero. Go over to the PM launcher boot.elf and select search find. Make sure to clear the search bar. Paste the copied hex in search. Go over to your edited background text zero and copy selected hex. Go back over to the PM launcher, right click, paste to right. Open the default M texture and the corresponding edited M texture. The hex link may sometimes be too long for your computer to handle. In this case, we can just manually select a section from the top of the text zero file. Go over to your edited M texture, select block, type 40 in star offset, and 3517F in end offset. Copy the hex from the unedited M text zero. Go over to the PM launcher boot.elf and select search, find, clear the search bar, then paste the copied hex in search. Copy the hex from your edited M text zero. Go back over to the PM launcher boot.elf, right click and paste right. Now that we are done replacing the textures, it's time to see what your edited launcher looks like. Open Dolphin Emulator, go to Graphics Settings, Advanced tab, and disable Dump Textures and Texture Format Overlay. Open up your edited PM Launcher boot.elf. Now you will see your edits. The launcher looks different. If your edited PM Launcher boot.elf doesn't load, then you either change the texture size, didn't use the correct texture format when converting to text zero, or you selected more than just the image hex when pasting hex into the boot.elf. There you have it. Now you know how to change the Project M launcher textures. If you'd like us to cover another basic Project M modding topic, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of Basic Project M Modding. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Kerbeast out. Thank you.